Aquarius, welcome to your weekly Sidereal forecast for July 20th through the 26th. My name is Athen. So we have a straightforward week. Like I've been saying, we've got Mercury and the Sun conjoining. Um, and that's uh, very supportive, actually, because it'll be a trining up to Saturn. And um, the emphasis here is uh, really this uh, early part of the week when we have that exact trine with Saturn and the Sun and Mercury. So that being said, the Sun does naturally rule your sixth house of routine. So a good uh, early part of the week for those things. Work, stuff like that should flow quite nicely when you're willing to you know, put in that hard work and discipline, which is Saturn. But I think you will be. And then Mercury does naturally rule your fourth house which is the um, home and family side of things for you and relationships. So I think supportive there. And I think there's a good, like I said, maturity and discipline about those things in the early part of the week. Then they go conjunct. And by the way, this is all happening in your fifth house. So, you know, this whole lunar cycle is about your fun, joy, self-expression, creative energy. You know, that's just kind of stuff that um, has been activated for you and it still will be with this lunar cycle. So any new intentions you set there or about your self-expression, things like that, Um, is certainly uh, on the table. But there's this shift uh, going into your sixth house this week when we have that conjunction between Mercury and the Sun going into your sixth. Right at that same time, they conjunct, they go into your sixth house. So that energy here is is about routine, health, diet. And this has been very expansive for you with Jupiter transiting your sixth house. So I think there's passion here. I think there's excitement, um, or at least it's available. And I think there's a sharp, again, mental aptitude to be utilized at work. There's a good, um, you know, self-expression there at work as well. And um, and any new intentions you do set around not only the creative stuff or self-expressive stuff, but also shifting into your health diet routine uh, will be a good energy to work with. So that being said, very supportive there with, um, you know, Saturn trying up to it. Good things there, uh, I would say, um, available for you to put in that energy do stay balanced if you are feeling a lot of like this self-expressive energy coming out you know at work or about health or whatever it is Uh, stay balanced because it is a combust energy mercury is direct at this time behind the sun and so here uh, that's very good for you know that that eager energy but when it's done in a balanced way right especially involving those things now the sun of course does naturally rule your six so he's at home there um you know, in that area, but also uh, Mercury, who does rule your fourth house of home and family and relationships. Um, I think there's a good passion about those things as well. So that's the early part of the week, uh, pretty much the work week. And then over the weekend, Friday through Sunday, we have Mars squaring up to Uranus, which is very different energy. So this kind of energy here is about our assertiveness which you're very assertive very direct with about your self-expression right now at the moment which is great just stay balanced with it over the weekend because it'll be squaring uranus it's a very impulsive kind of an energy especially with mars debilitated in gemini right now at the moment so uh working at it constructively one step at a time this is all about your values because your whole sense of self-worth self-esteem and values have been changing and you've been liberating there's a newfound sense of self that's been transforming and um, you know that's helping you so you know you can have in this sense more freedom and more enjoyment in your life so um, some things to reflect on the more open we are to change and to renew our life uh, especially in in regards to how you express yourself um, will be a good way to work with this over the weekend Uh, mercury and the sun will be sextiling up to the north node so uh, like it's been all year a good time for you to uh, get in contact with the deeper elements of life with truth with what life's really about esoteric information perhaps things like that deeper bonds, deeper connections. And um, that's a nice thing for those things over the weekend. Um, And then also over the weekend, Venus and Uranus are going retrograde at roughly the same time. Now, Uranus is your secondary ruler. So you guys will be entering into some sort of, you know, more of a reflective time because your traditional ruler, Saturn, your main ruler is already retrograde. So you guys are, you know, in this process of reflecting and he's going to go direct next month. But now with your secondary ruler retrograde, you know, it's a time going into next week of reflecting about your values, what's really important to you in life, the material stuff, perhaps, you know, things like that, which is your second house. With Venus, Venus does naturally rule your third and eighth. So reflecting on, you know, those deeper things that is your life path at the moment, reflecting on how you're communicating, how you're expressing yourself, things like that for the next few months with Venus and the relationship stuff, which is, of course, Venus in your seventh, which you have been enjoying perhaps lately and can continue to enjoy. But it's about uh, thinking about that um, you know in more detail and internalizing it a little bit so Aquarius I hope you guys have a nice week the emphasis is certainly a shift from that um, fifth house into the sixth house so still very self-expressive there though with Mars uh, but a lot of support from Saturn this week with that um, trine 
with both of those areas. And I think just being willing to stay grounded, being willing to revolutionize and change the way you have fun or express yourself, I think will be key as the week unfolds. So have a nice one. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll see you guys next time.